So hmm. what do the Cats do uh, now? Like uh, we spoke about on Saturday, uh, I said I think Steve Hocking is perfect mm. to come in and sharpen the place up. Yep. Um, yep. But what do they do? What, what's the first sort of point of business for them? It's a good question. Uh, they've got to get on the same page, don't they, with, uh, with, with what the list is and, and what they want it to be, I, I think, in, in stages, um, 2022, 23, 24, because... There needs to be some form of reconciling, doesn't there, with the recruiting even most recently last year of Jeremy Cameron. Three first-round draft picks. Now, I know they got two second-round draft picks back, but ultimately three first-round draft picks were required. Obviously, also, to bringing in a, an Isaac Smith, who was good all year, and also a, a Sean Higgins, yep. who was good at times in 2021. But bringing those types of players in, where's that fit in to, to what, what they think the list is going to be at right now? I think there needs to be some tougher decisions made on, on some players. I, I don't not claim to know what has to happen now with Gary Rowan and, and Dalhouse and some other players of that type. Um, what they do, Bill, as you know, with, with Jordan Clark, who just simply cannot get a look in. Yeah. Quinton Narc, or they've just chosen not to play despite being fit and despite having well, injuries. So I think they need to sort all that out first and, that, then, and then get Stephen Hawking and, and Brian, and um, not Brian Cook, but uh, Stephen Hawking and also Chris Scott to then work yeah. out what it is they, they see. I reckon that's the first thing they do. They have a chat to uh, uh, Narkel and also to Jordan Clark, who both would be uh, disappointed with the game time they got this year, and that's because a bit of uh, cat stuff, but also themselves, I reckon. So you'd have a chat to them, and they you'd have to guarantee them more. Please you know, stay. We want you to stay. We love you here, and you'll get more game time next year. No doubt about that. That's what they would have said to him this time last year, Bill, and probably yeah, the year before that as but well. But I think it has changed happened. a bit now, Damo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I, reckon it I think the, the thing about the Cats that is intriguing to me, Purple, is I, I love Chris Scott. I love him as a bloke, and I think he's been an extraordinary coach of that club. And if he was sitting quietly talking to the three of us, he, he would, and, and I say like that sentence I said before, Steve Hocking comes in and, and uh, sharpens him up, he would turn to me and go, Bray, we've, we've been pretty sharp. Yeah, you know, what we've done yeah. has been pretty good. You know, we That's we just make yeah. the finals every year. We make prelim finals. We make grand finals. We, we're, our record's actually pretty good. So it's you sort of feel bad saying anything negative about them because they have been mm. extraordinary. The cats over an, ex, an unbelievable amount of time. When everyone else goes up and down, they just stay yeah. at this extraordinary <laughs> level. So and and, and know, we need to put that on the table. You do, and, and bar for, for Dusty Martin again last year yeah. in the grand final, yes. they, they probably get that flag. Without, I mean, I know the, the halftime margin was 15 points, but, but 45 seconds before that, it was 22. Yeah, it and, was. and Dusty kicked mm. a point, then a goal. So it then yeah. became the 15 at halftime, and then there was no stopping them at that point, obviously, after what happened there. But had, they, had that scenario not, uh, not unfolded, had Dusty not been Dusty, well, they'd probably win you know, the 2020 flag, and we're not talking about this at all, are we? A bit, no, of, bit no. of work well, to do. It could... Could be worse. You could be a fan of the Cleveland Browns who oh. have just lost their first round game for the 17th straight year, Purple. And they were in yeah, front, but, weren't they, Jim? But it was yep. to Patrick Mahomes, Jim, and, that, Jim, and that, that, that can happen any given Sunday in NFL, I don't care. as we know. I don't care. The first round, they know, the players know that a year earlier. So you know it's coming up. Maybe get ready for it and see if you could just perhaps win it. How about that for an idea? Um, well, they weren't ready for it. They just weren't ready for the, the genius that is the other bloke, Mahomes. <laughs>